Hello my friends, I'm Clover and today we're going to be solving a palindrome Sudoku by Philip Newman. It's called Rotator, uh, which is in fact a palindrome. This is originally posted in GAS on May 6th, 2024. So what are our rules? So we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3 by 3 region. And then in addition to that, we have palindrome Sudoku. So we have some gray lines in the grid, and along each of these gray lines, the sequence of digits forms a palindrome. In other words, it has to read the same forwards as backwards. So as I start solving, I'll show you how that's going to work. So we have a three here, and because this sequence along this line has to go the same in this direction as it goes in the opposite direction, it also has to start with a three going from the other direction. So now here in this top row, we still have to place a 7, 8, and 9 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can't put an 8 here, and we also can't put an 8 in this column, so 8's going to go there. And then these cells are going to contain 7 and 9. But because of the palindrome rule, this digit is the same as this one, and it can't be 9. So there's my 7, there's my 9, and I have a 7 on the other end of the palindrome. I can write in a digit here, second from the end here is an 8, so that's also going to be an 8 second from the opposite end. Here I'm going to have a 6 and a 5 to fulfill the palindrome there. I still need a 1, a 2, and a 3 in this row, and I can't place 2 in either of these two cells, so let's put a 2 here. This is going to be a 1, 3 pair, and I can already see I have something very similar to this happening at the bottom of the grid, where this digit will have to be the same as this one by palindrome. But this can't be a 1 because there's a 1 in the column, so those are my 3s, and then there's a 1. These remaining 3 cells will have to contain 7, 8, and 9. And because I have 8 and 9 in this column, I know that the middle one is a 7, so let's match it up with palindrome rules. And then we're still going to have an 8 and a 9 here, so now we need a 1 and a 4 there, and a 3 and a 6, and a 1, 2, and 4 to finish that region. Okay, let's take a look at this column because this looks pretty restricted. We need to fill in a 1, 6, and 9 to complete this column, and 1 can't go in either of those cells, so that's where my 1's going to go, and I can place my other 1 on the palindrome line there. Now whatever digit is kind of one position inboard from the 8 has to be equal to this, because we're going the same both ways. So this has to be either a 6 or a 9, and it can't be a 6 because there's a 6 in this column already. So that digit and this digit are 9s, and then this is going to be my 6. Now the 9 there actually settles the orientation of the 8-9 pairs there. So now let's finish this column. We still need a 4 and a 7. There's a 7 in this row already, so that settles that. And then the palindrome gives us a 7 here. And because this is the very middle cell of our palindrome, the palindrome itself doesn't tell us anything about that. So now we need a 4 and an 8 here. And we have this palindrome nearly complete, and we need a 5 and a 6 to finish this region. So now let's take a look over here. So in this region, we still need 2, 3, 6, and 7. So the 2 and 3 will go there and there, because these two cells contain 2 and 3. And then this will be my 6 and my 7. So now I know where I need to place another 7, and then also this has to be the same as that, and I don't actually know what they are yet. That's also just either 2 or 3. It could go either way at this point. Okay, so now I need to finish this off with 1, 2, 3, and 9. That can't be a 9. These two are going to be the same, so that can't be a 9 either, so that's actually my 9. And then whatever this is is equal to this, so that's also 1, 2, or 3. But because there's a 1 and a 3 in the row, that'll be a 2, and that's going to finish off row 3. So now here I need 3, 4, and 5. That's not a 3, that's not a 5. Oh, and I didn't even see this 6 that's been there from the very beginning. That has to be a 6, and then this is either a 3 or a 4 to match this. But because there's a 3 in the column, we know that that must be a 4 at this point. So then the 3 matches a 3 here. And I can eliminate 4s from these two cells. I could eliminate 2 here. That's actually just a 1. And that region is complete. So now finishing this off, we need a 5 and a 1 here. The 5 gives us a 6 and a 5. We now can determine which way around the two 3 pairs go. Actually, two ways to do it, because there's also a 2 on the palindrome there. I'm only looking at one thing at once. So now that's going to be 4, 5, and 6. 
and then that will be a 1, and these will be 3, 8, and 9, and that's on the end of the palindrome. That's my 3, 9, and 8. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's palindrome Sudoku from May 6th called Rotator. Hope you enjoyed that. The link to solve yourself is in the description below this video, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day.